What's that, Stu? You mean to tell me YouTube's screwing content creators over again? No, that never happens. YouTube loves us. YouTube loves me. They would never do anything that would hurt us. Like, put out an algorithm that completely and utterly shadow banned my channel, cutting my viewership in half, leading to me getting absolutely no traffic to my channel, losing hundreds of subscribers just randomly for whatever I uploaded, which was absolutely weird. That never happens. Not here, no. Next, you're going to tell me that YouTube was going to leave a strike on Moist Critical's channel if it wasn't for Markiplier. You hater. Oh my God, I hate my life. I hate YouTube. YouTube is like a girl that used to be great. You loved her. She was a good person. Then she met, you know, drug dealers and bad boys and she became obsessed with them. And the bad boys are like, you know, major television networks that really don't give a shit about her. They're just using her because she's the it girl for the moment. And then when it's over, they're gonna leave her a dry dead husk, much like the cable companies that they left behind. Huh, funny. Remember Time Warner Cable? Huh, not really right. YouTube puts out a TOS change that was a chop in the throat of every content creator that wasn't already rich on the platform or that wasn't one of the specific golden calves. You know what I'm talking about, Jack Septicai. <laughs> one of the content creators that Susan Wachowski is either hung out with or constantly talks to, James Charles, etc., Shane Dawson. Those sort of people that are like in the bosom of YouTube's upper echelon. While the rest of us eat in the squalor with rats and pigs. So anyway, YouTube rolled in like Ric Flair and throat chopped me and the rest of you in the throat. Wow, really descriptive, Gundam. Blah, 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 facial recognition restrictions. This is always a nice one. They do this to like sort of soften you up. They're like, oh, we're, we're going to make sure nothing bad happens with people's facial recognitions. And you're kind of like... That's cool. I hate to see a deep fake of me on YouTube, you know, and then they go for the jugular. YouTube's right to monetize. YouTube has the right to monetize all content on the platform. Ads may appear on videos from channels not in the YouTube partner program, which basically means <clears throat> all those videos that are like years old, most likely that have millions of views and still get views from dead channels that the people don't upload to anymore that uploaded like copywritten content or maybe stuff like, you know, the Tourette's guy, whatever, is now going to be monetized, especially if it meets community guidelines. That's the only barometer they have to like try and make it seem somewhat not shady. Like, oh, the video has to follow community guidelines. And you're gonna go, Gundam, how do you know this? Well, it's quite simple. Pimp Master Broda replied to YouTube's tweet. If you're based in the US, you'll notice that we've updated our terms of service today. My God, America's just getting pummeled, bro. Coronavirus, the crappy election, nutty ass people fighting in the streets over their political party. Now this. If you're based in the US, blah, 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 terms of service. Last time we made a TOS update, many of you had questions, understandably, exclamation points. Wow, YouTube. It's almost as if they're remotely self-aware, but not really. It's like a big joke. We know you guys had questions. Yeah, because you guys always do shit that sucks. You always do something that just messes up the stew. Finally, the soup is able for everyone to eat. We're like, oh, well, the gruel's better this time. There's no broken glass. And then YouTube comes in, pulls down its pants, and takes a big sh** in your ball. Like, I'm just fed the f*** up. I can't take another minute of this bullshit. Oh. And then, um, yeah, you know, they're like, eat up, yum, yum. And then your favorite YouTubers that are big are like, mm, 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 I love the corn in it. Ah, uh, so Pitmaster Broder replies to this, right? If you're not aware, YouTube is now running ads on all videos, even if they're demonetized, yada, yada, right? You know what's funny about YouTube? They've been doing this for a while. This ain't new, okay? This has been going on for a while. YouTube has been doing it for a while to YouTube partners. I'm one of the idiots. You know, it's just like they do what they want to you. Like you're some sort of Cambodian whore. For God's sakes, nothing personal to Cambodia. Like I've had videos where they would be fully monetized by YouTube and like a music company. Then when I finally got the music company's bogus copyright off the video, it would be fully monetized, by the way. Fully monetized. Zion getting all my mother money. 
and then I get it back after a year of them raping me. And then YouTube's like, the video's demonetized for content. What do you mean it's demonetized? When it, you thought Zion owned the whole video, he got full monetization. But for me, I'm demonetized? What are you talking about here, you fucking crook? <laughs> Stu, where's my tension tamer tea? Oh my god. I know I said I wouldn't get pissed, dude. I said I was going to control this take. I know. I told you. I was, I'm, listen, Stu, I'm on edge, baby. All right. It's the first year where I can't watch Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving and Charlie Brown's Christmas. You know, I miss the Peanuts gang. I could relate to Charlie Brown. Now I gotta have Apple TV to watch Charlie Brown. What the f*** is this? Why is it every time you turn around, some corporation is just taking a little bit more of your childhood and f***ing you in the ass with it? Can I say that? No? What can I say? Okay, okay give me a second. It's like corporations show up and steal your gum goody goom drops. Doesn't have the same effects, dude. I don't give a rat's ass. Anyway, Pitmaster Broda puts out this tweet. Now, he has tweeted a couple times at YouTube, especially because they're screwing over his channel. Pitmaster Broda is another channel that got hit with the new algorithm that they don't tell you about. YouTube's algorithm is about as transparent as staring at a brick wall, okay? So, yeah. He, along with me, and a few others, uh, that's the quarterling, uh, Jim Sterling actually got nailed too. I don't even know if he noticed, but uh, he's taking a dive in viewership and whatnot. It's actually crazy right now. So whenever Pimp Master Broda would ask YouTube what was going on, obviously YouTube said absolutely nothing. But when he talked about this, YouTube actually replied. Jumping in to clarify, we've only shown ads on videos that individuals meet ad-friendly guidelines. This for YouTube partner programs and non-YouTube partner channels. For background, we've greatly improved our ability to detect when individual videos are whoops. God damn it, Stu. I told you to get kids today in here to fix this. To detect individual videos following our ad-friendly guidelines. It's very important that the video is ad-friendly because we're all about friendly content, unless it's a major network putting up a very violent movie clip or rap videos where booty shakers and people are being shot fully monetized. Those are A-OK. -okay. But don't you dare say something about Hillary Clinton. At the channel level, if a channel wasn't approved or was removed from the YouTube partner program due to the nature of content, i.e. not complying with our community guidelines, we won't show ads on that channel's content. Beep, bop, boop, boop, beep. Regardless, all videos must meet ad-friendly guidelines to show ads. And then we'll take all of the money and you won't get anything. Insert human emotion here. Beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 beep. Mama Susan is God. YouTube is a fair and balanced platform, much like Fox News. So there you go. They run right in to let you know what's going on for something this stupid. But things that super duper matter, there is absolutely no transparency. And sadly, my channel has been blacklisted. It's not cool. But it is what it is, man. So, I'm going to start doing Twitch. Uh, we got a sub button there. Go sub right now. Turn on all notifications onto my channel. Do not trust YouTube to tell you that I'm uploaded. Take it upon yourself to check all of my channels regularly. I have four of them. I'm constantly working on something. I'm about to start doing TikTok, so let's get that ball rolling. We're going to do something to circumvent this and fight it. YouTube will find that I'm pretty tenacious. How about we go to dinner sometime, sweetie? My treat. <laughs> oh, no, you wish. Uh, I'm sponsored by Ridge Wallets. Hmm, well. It's bulletproof, you know. Works every time. Thank you, Sebastian. It's that time of season again, where Witch Wallet sponsors everyone's favorite troll, me. Never thought of actually asking for a wallet for Christmas? Well, you're in luck, and I guarantee you that you'll be wanting this one under your tree. Ridge Wallet is a perfect gift, in the sense of it replaces your old lame-ass wallet. 
No jokes here. By the way, did I tell you? The wallet's bulletproof. All right? Your old wallet wasn't bulletproof. This one is. That's a selling point already. Long as the crook shoots you specifically wherever you held the wallet. Ridge Wallet is not responsible for the rest of your body. Give the gift that everyone will love. This wallet has over 40,000 five-star reviews. It can't be wrong. By the way, free worldwide shipping and returns if you don't like the wallet. That's belief in a product. Hit it, Stu. By the way, free worldwide shipping and returns if you don't like the wallet. Whether it's a gift for you or for someone you love. Visit RidgeWallet.com Gundam 10 to save yourself 10% this holiday season. YouTube being YouTube, that's pretty much it. Literally, that's it. YouTube comes out, new to us, screws over everybody, and everybody's like, what? What's going on? I don't understand. Why? How can they do this? And it's like, I've been telling you for months, YouTube does shady shit. They only protect certain people. Only certain people get special treatment. The rest of us are <laughs> If Susan Wachowski isn't in videos with you, if she doesn't do correspondence with you on Twitter, giving you a birthday wish, you're not in the group. You are expendable. If you do anything outside of something like Marquez Brownlee, nothing personal to him, but not all of us are lucky enough to get expensive in tech and look at it and give you spreadsheets on crap. Guess what? The 3090, it's a good card, but it doesn't really do AK-60. It barely does AK-30. But since they didn't pay me to say otherwise, I'm going to tell it to you like it is. The 3080 is slower than the new big Navi. It is what it is. But if NVIDIA paid me to, I'd be sitting here lying through my teeth, baby. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Some people are like, YouTube's upset that content creators are using sponsorships. And it's like, well, what did you think was going to happen? When YouTube makes monetization so hard for a lot of people who bust their ass on this site. And I'll use myself as an example. Years, three years I dedicated to this. I let my long-term relationship go to shit for this. I stopped dating because of this. There were women who were like, oh, it seems like the people that are fans of your channel are really dumb. And I was like, well, I guess I'm going to stop talking to you now, aren't I? You know, I've given up a lot for this. And for them to just put out some sort of algorithm change and just nullify years of my life. You know, I can't get that back. If I knew it was going to turn into this dude, the channel would have been totally different. I probably would have uploaded once a week and I would have focused on motorcycle racing instead of this. Instead of getting my throat pounded in. Hell yeah, I'm taking sponsorships. That's why a lot of people do because YouTube makes us drag our balls through broken glass. And especially if they don't like you or if they think you're problematic or your channel's on the bad reputation list, which basically means blacklist, then you have to bust your ass for crumbs. Hell yeah, people are taking sponsorships. And if YouTube's mad, it's a problem they created. Jesus Christ. It's like nobody has sympathy for DSP for all the problems he created. <laughs> it's like YouTube's DSP. There you go. YouTube's turning into DSP. It's going to screw over the thing that's working for them for some BS crap. Like com companies, bro. 10 years ago, 12 years ago, where was CNN? Fox News, Comedy Central, yada yada. Was the Daily Show on here regularly? Fuck no. No, it wasn't because they thought YouTube was a joke and the internet was a joke until cable started dying and people were going to YouTube because this is what they wanted. They wanted raw, real, unadulterated shit from people they could relate to. To say I'd walk a mile for a camel? Well, let me tell all you young people out there, the big man would walk 20 miles for a quaalude, let me tell you! <laughs> that was the drug back there! None of this homogenized, blown out of proportion garbage that is soulless drudgery chugged through a boob tube. This fake world you live in that teaches you to do nothing but suffer, slave, and expire for bullshit. It doesn't matter because one day you'll be dead and you can't take it with you to the other side. Unless you got enough money to bury yourself like the fucking pharaoh. And even if you did, some asshole dig up your crypt and steal your shit anyway. So really, what does it matter, sugar? I know, Stu. I'm sorry. 
I tried. I really tried not to fly off the handle. I swear to Christ I did. Do you know what it's like? Do, do, you know, Stu. You have to edit this. You know what it's like. How I have to tone myself down. Do you know what it's like to be... I'm outside with my friends talking and stuff. I'm hanging out with a chick talking. And she goes, you know what you should be doing? You should be recording all the stuff you're seeing right now and putting it on YouTube. And I'm like, I can't. I would get my channel deleted. Because they don't understand satire or nuance. They have no idea what comedy is unless someone's going, Orange Man, bad. They think comedy is Saturday Night Live. Another network television show that didn't give a damn about YouTube till recent years because nobody's watching SNL on television. My God, Saturday Night Live is about as funny as watching a kitten die. It's terrible. Ugh, Trevor Noah. Good God Almighty. How far you could get being mediocre. It's amazing. As long as you have the right politics. Get Trump back in office. I'm going to start making videos about how he sucks so I can get in the in club and actually make some money. All I want is enough money so I can walk away. 